Please find a comfortable posture. Keep your back straight as much as you can. Gently close your eyes. Check your body, how you feel, how you are sitting, how you maintain your posture. Make sure you are comfortable. yourself to have this life, being born as a human, I have this opportunity to taking care of myself, my inner self and also my physical body like a vessel. In this beautiful Saturday morning, I am here at the temple sanctuary with these like-minded people. We all have same intention. We are sharing our practice with each other while we are going inward. Now you can bring loving awareness, that wholesome, skillful thought into your mind. May I be well, may I be happy, May I be peaceful. Just maintain that thought in your mind. Not like a job. It is there. You are aware about it. In this moment, You are not thinking something harmful to yourself or others. In this moment, you are having that thought in your mind No matter what is happening around me in the world, I am taking care of my inner world. May I be well. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. Now 
Now send your loving thoughts towards your family. Think of them one by one, by names. Remember, loving-kindness practice is the foundation for your inner journey. Without loving-kindness, there is no practice. Now send your loving thoughts towards whole world. May all living beings be well, be happy, be peaceful. Now slowly turn your attention to your breath, which is your life. Every breath you take in, you take out, is taken mindfully. Focus on your natural, ordinary breath.
mind wanders, which is so beautiful, your mind has to wander because your mind is an active organ. If your mind is not wandering, definitely something wrong. So let it be where he wants to be, let it wander. How about you become a silent observer? There is no negative judgment about your body or your mind, whatever thought rising in your mind. You can see them, what you feel, your emotions, everything is there. Everything see clearly what exactly happening in your body and mind. You are fully present to those situations, those phenomena, not reacting to them not judging them negatively. Oh, you can judge them, but you are not condemning.
Where is your mind? Please bring it back. <coughs> Now observe your mind, observe your body, your body is relaxed, your mind is calm, tranquil and peaceful. Now you can bring your palms together close to your heart. Make a wish for the day. You can think to yourself, I am going to live lovingly and mindfully. I am aware about my feelings and emotions. I am going to be mindful before I say something. I am not going to hurt myself and others. And also I am sending these good thoughts, whoever need blessings, prayers. And also I am thinking of all the departed one. I am thinking of, thinking of them too. May peace be with you, may you be well, may you be happy, may you be peaceful. Thank you very much. Please open your eyes. Okay, we are going to chant. <coughs> Namo dasa bhagavato arehato Samma Sambuddhasya Namo Tassya Bhagavato Arhato Samma Sambuddhasya Namo Tassya Bhagavato Arhato Samma Sambuddhasya Buddhan Saranangachami 
dhammam saranam gacchami sangam saranam gacchami dutiyam de buddham saranam gacchami dutiyam de dhammam saranam gacchami dutiyam pe sangam saranam gacchami tatiyam pe buddham saranam gacchami tatiyam pe dhammam saranam gacchami tatiyam pe sangam saranam gacchami anicca vat sankara upadvay dhammino Upajitva nirujjanti Te sang upa samu suko Sabbe santa avera hontu Sabbe santa Abhya Pajya Hontu Sabbe Santa Sukhi Atanam Pariharantu Setta Manomaya Manasa Tatonam Dukkha Manveti Charayam Vatopadam Mano Pumbang Gamadam Mano Setta Mano Manasa Che Pasanene Basativa Karotiva Tato nang sukha man veti Chaya vaan paini We believe.
Jesus. Good morning, everybody. Sometimes chanting is so fun, right, when we make the mistakes. <laughs> so I was thinking um, when I was under the training at the temple, sometimes when we are making a mistake or something, we cannot stop laughing. Sometimes I got lots of punishments. Uh, middle of nowhere, I cannot control my laugh. So my teacher keep asking me, get up right now, <laughs> go out. And so I had lots of time, you know, he pushed me out <laughs> because I cannot control, sometimes I'm laughing loud. So I, um, it was so difficult for me to sometimes control that. <laughs> so it was fun, it was good. So, so anyway, when I'm teaching, I'm always trying to bring something practical for you to think. And also, end of the day, you can apply into your daily, everyday life. Otherwise, whatever I do, whatever you do at the temple, it doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, so, uh, two, uh, you know, experiences I had uh, this week. Um, I think uh, two weeks ago, you know, usually Saturday morning, always we have lots of people at the temple. So two weeks ago, before the precept ceremony, week before, there was a lots of people, maybe double, like Rebecca, lots of people at the temple that day, Saturday morning. So usually we share pictures in the social media. So one of our uh, friends, monk, and called me, and he said, you know, I always watching and observing what you are doing in the world and also how you are running, they are running the temples too, how you are running the Blue Lotus Temple. Um, so then he made the comment, it's very interesting to see uh, the Blue Lotus Temple in Chicago, you know, here in Woodstock, always lots of people come to meditation. Lots of people come to meditation, I can see. So then he said, I can see last 20 years, he was closely observing because I help him too a lot. And so I'm very interested to learn how you are going to keep those people in the temple every day being active and they are practicing why they are keep coming. Maybe they have some benefit. Maybe they have some good stuff they are receiving coming to the temple. You know, the question he asked me, how do you keep all those people last 23 years in this place? Then I, I was thinking to myself, did I try to keep them? <laughs> I didn't. My answer was, so this is my answer, I said to him, I never tried to keep those people at the temple. So then I always telling people, this temple has a two doors, actually we have three. Three doors, back door two, right? And so, it's, this is like a school bus. School bus has a two doors. One to get in, <laughs> one to get out. So therefore, this is the place for you to come and see, not come and believe. Does it make sense? This is the place to come and see, not come and believe. So therefore, I am not trying to keep everybody in this place. So number one, why I am doing so well, why we are doing so well, we are not trying to keep the people. So what we are trying, if you try something, keep the practice. So when we are trying to keep the practice, that means I try to keep my practice, then temple will be fine. <laughs> now think about, I'm going crazy and lunatic. Anyway, I'm lunatic, I know that. And so, if we are going crazy, then nobody's coming here. So that means, I am responsible for my own practice. 
if I really want to run this place. You are responsible for your own practice if you want to support to this temple. How about that combination? We are keep moving inward, not outward, taking care of ourselves. That is the real practice. It is so interesting. So sometime he said, he's a very well-educated monk, and he said, sometime I'm very confused for your answers. I said, I'm so happy for that, if you are confused. Because my goal is not to make people happy. My goal is to make people confused. If you, after you come to the temple, you are more confused, I'm so happy. Why is that? Why is that? You are start to think. You know, so sometimes people have a very devotional mind. They are stuck in that devotion. They cannot open up their heart and mind to think. So the Buddha's teaching for people to uh, think, he is promoting how to think. So then other experience I had, my teacher these days, my ordination teacher, he is living in the Australia temple where I used to live. So then uh, every week he's, you know, actually every two days he's calling me, or I call him. So uh, he called me the other day, then he said, I am so proud to say you are my first student. I said, thank you. <laughs> right? So I mean, even I'm joking with him all the time. And so I asked why, you know, middle of nowhere, you are so proud of me. So group of uh, Australian monks came to visit him. And then organizer, that monk, tried to introduce my teacher to other monks. They don't know about my teacher. Then he said, this is so and so. Then everybody, okay. So then that organize, organizer, that monk, he said, do you know, I'm very humble to say that, do you know there's a famous monk in America? Then that monk asked, who is that? Bhante Sujata? He has a temple called the Blue Lotus Temple outside of Chicago. That, he's a very popular in the United States. This is his teacher. That's what, you know, my teacher told me. So then, when, then my teacher said, when I hear that, I felt so good. I did something awesome. I did something wonderful. I felt so proud about you and about myself. I said, oh, <laughs> that's interesting. And so I said, <laughs> I said, I'm not trying to make you proud. So then he was so confused, then we have a long talk. So that moment, later, after he explained all those things, then I said to him, now think about this. Next week, somebody call you and tell you, do you know your student in America, that Bhante Sujata? He's crazy, he's stupid, he's doing all the crazy things. How do you feel in that moment? More than you being proud, I want to know how you are going to react to that moment. He was totally quiet. I said, if you are proud about me, I'm so happy as a student, I feel I did my job. But after somebody says something bad about me, if you feel sad, if you feel disappointed, I want to address that. He never expected that answer from me. I said, if you cannot, if you cannot handle that, I'm not happy about you, you are being proud about me. So when you hear something negative about me, still you can maintain whatever you know about me, that trust, that connection, that relationship, then I will take it. So if you can manage both things equally, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> then I, you know, I said that. He is totally quiet after I say that. So I know his nature. I know he start to think. So I know I love him so much. I'm so grateful. He's a great master for me. And um, he changed my life upside down because of his influence. 
So same time, I want to be noble to him. So now think about when I hear that, easily I can lose myself. Oh my God, I'm famous. <laughs> How wonderful, people know me. Now I feel I don't want that. Because I, sometimes I feel I don't have a personal life. So when I'm out, you know, so anyway, what is that? Everything we can bring into our practice. Whatever people comment, whatever people think about this place, or think about this temple, think about me, I'm happy how they are thinking about me. I'm happy how they are thinking about the temple. But I'm always asking, is it supporting my inner journey to make my life peaceful? Most of the time when you hear those things, we lose ourselves. So therefore, when people are making those good comments about me, more than being excited, what I am doing, I am so mindful and concerned about it. It's very interesting. Two weeks ago, uh, I talked about peace, how to make the peace. Maybe whoever in the room. So then I said, in the books, we don't have peace. In the po peace protest, we don't have peace. When we put the peace symbol outside, there is no peace. When we are wearing a symbol as a necklace, it doesn't mean there is a peace. So there is a peace sign somewhere, there is no peace. So most of activities we are doing to make this world peaceful, I don't see there is a peace. People having little fun. Little excitement is there. So, so many things people are doing to make this world peaceful, but I don't say there is no effect. There is little effect, but not big effect in the society, what we are doing. So, today my point is, how you are going to make this world peaceful? How you are going to make it, this peace? world peaceful. What is your plan? Everybody talking about peace these days. What do you want to do? Okay, yeah. So starting making your own world peaceful. How are you going to do that? Mm-hmm. Okay, wonderful. So thank you so much sharing that. So you two said, you know, everybody said you want to focus on yourself. What do you mean by that? Because if you're good on the inside, you could be good towards others on the outside. Right. You gotta take care of yourself mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. So to make yourself wonderful, make yourself good, what is the plan? I'm looking for the plan. You can say this and that. I'm too. What is the plan? What is the focus we have to do? Observation. Observation about what, Bill? What? Observation. Observe what? Observe my, all of myself. All of yourself. Okay. Good, I'm very good. Now I'm asking this. Okay, now I'm asking Nick. Okay, Nick, you have two eyes, right? Two eyes. Jay, you have two ears, right? So your eyes is belong to you? <laughs> so now I'm asking you, you all have two eyes, right? Two ears and you have your senses. Your senses, your eyes, your ears, your tongue, those are belong to you? I'm asking myself too. Yes. Yes. Okay, you say it is belong to me, right? Something, if it, something belong to you, if it is belong to you, you can control those things where you want, right? If it is belong to you. Yes. That means, can you control your two eyes where you want? No. no. That means, 
What did that mean? Yeah, that means you are not, you know, your eyes is not belong to you. What the heck you are talking about now? <laughs> so, you said your eyes is belong to you. If it is something belong to you, <laughs> you can control everything where you want. Then you said no. If you cannot control them where you want, it is not belong to you then. Right, you are thinking it is belong to you. You put it the wrong perspective into your mind. They are belong to me. They are belong to me. But conventionally, you are thinking which is right, which is correct. They, yeah, they are belong to me. My my eyes. But conventionally, yes. But in reality, no. So then, Buddha asks, "Your eyes is constant, or?" What is the word? Inconstant, right? Constant or inconstant? Hmm? That's right, exactly. <laughs> See, I'm so happy. Why you are confused? Right? Your eyes are constant or inconstant? Temporary. That's right. It means? Not lasting. It means you cannot control where you want. So my point for you, very simple, may be very confusing to some people. If you can understand that, what will happen? We don't have conflict. We don't have conflict. All the conflict, all the world problems come because how we are using our senses. If you can understand these senses are not belong to me. I is not belong to me. I consciousness also not belong to me. Because we see it, we react to it, we bring information in, then you put I, my and my into your experience. I know it is a little too much, but I am going to make you more confused. And so then go home and think. So, every day, if I see something, I am thinking always, my I is not belong to me. If it is belong to me, I don't want to go to the doctor's eye doctor. Once a year, I go and check my eyes. Because doctor wants to know, because I am aging now, my eyes also changing. Sometimes people wear, I wear in the glasses. Why? Without glasses, I cannot see. Sometimes people have hearing aids. Without hearing aid, they cannot hear. That's why you go and get the hearing aids. So, looking at those, your senses, think your senses are not belong to you. Your eyes are not belong to you. Your ears are not belong to you. Your eye, you know, it's constant or unconscious. It is always changing. Then your eye consciousness also not belong to you. Everything is creation. Then what is exist in this world? Hmm? Emptiness or the cause and effect. So in the Buddhist teaching we talk about the cause and effect. So in simple, I don't want to go more than this, in simple understand this. If you can understand this, world is so peaceful. Why? Using your senses, you are not putting any negativity into your life. So that perfect, because of that you are not putting anything into others' life too. So other day uh, we did the sutra study online. So it's a really good sutra, but it's the second sutra or teaching Buddha gave to the first five monks and we were discussing it. So, some people were really confused. I am so happy though. Why? They are keep thinking. One lady sent me a long message. Bhante, I am so confused right now. As you said it, I love it. I love it because I am keep thinking now. So, therefore, please understand the word impermanence. Then you can enjoy your life. Then we are not holding then you are not trying to keep everything for you, for your life, like ownership. How beautiful that. Any questions? Any questions?
Any thought? Are you confused? <laughs> yes, right? Now go home and think. Right? So no need to understand right now. No need to understand right now. Because my point is, you are trying to label everything I, my, and mine. Why people are fighting? Why people are killing each other? Why people go and put the bomb? Why all those things happening around the world? It is not the bombs are coming, not coming, not coming from the heaven. Right? So we created that. So who created those things then? I created, you created. Who created the peace then? Buddha created the peace? Who created the peace? Our senses created the peace. So more you train about your five faculties or five senses, you can create more peace into the world. So then you can see the separation, then you can see you are live like a lotus flower, you are not touching the mud, but you are using the water and mud, you are above the world, above the water, you are beautiful and open to the world, helping so many people. So when monks call me or when my teachers say about something like that, if I'm going crazy and doing something bad, they don't think like that. More I take care of my inner self, my senses, my faculties, that means people see more peace in the world. So therefore, we all have a big job to taking care of this world. No. We all have a big job taking care of this world. So if you can taking care of this world, your senses, the world is so peaceful, no need to make the peace protest after that. For the world peace. Does it make sense? Okay, so think about it. Uh, any question? No? Okay.